And Brian, thanks so much for your time. I mean, the great thing about being a journalist is that you learn new things every day. And I learned about the fact that there's an international heavy haul association for the first time in wow. my life, right? Mm -hmm. And that South Africa it's is never a member. Late. It's <laughs> never too late. Never it's too never late. too late. <laughs> so perhaps please uh, bring us into exactly what it is that you guys do, and particularly yourself now as the chairman. Uh, thank you for that. Um, just a bit, a brief background. International Heavy Haul Association has got about 10 member countries, um, which are South Africa, uh, United States of America, Canada, uh, Russia, Norway, Sweden, India, China, and Australia. These are uh, countries that are move, moving bulk freight, heavy stuff, uh, mm -hmm. more than 25 tons to excel long trains. So this association is, is promoting excellence within the heavy haul space mm -hmm. because historically, we've experienced a number of challenges such as derailments and operations efficiencies. So they came together and formed the, 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 the association. There's a board of directors that run the association. Each country has got a member who represent the board mm -hmm. um, of director, uh, you know, board of directors. So, 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 so what we do, we, we about technical advancements and technological um, uh, deployment within the, the railway uh, heavy haul space. Mm -hmm. So that, that's what we do, cutting edge technologies um, to ensure that we can improve our, our, our operations, really operations. I mean, talking about improvements, right now we're reading a lot of forecasts that global growth is expected to be, uh, you know, a lot better than it's been in a really long time. I'm wondering, what does that mean for your industry? Well, and the movement of bulk freight? We, we, we do have a challenging uh, uh, spot as a railway industry because uh, if you're talking about bulk, um, when the market goes down, you know, so our mining customers, they also slow down. Uh, therefore, we end up uh, transporting less uh, uh, bulk. So therefore, during this time, uh, uh, this calls on to us to ensure that we can uh, tighten our, our cost internally um, uh, so that we ensure that we can still maintain the profitability, not just of, uh, of the railways, but of also of the customers. But are you saying that that's what you're seeing now, a slowdown in the market? Th there's an improvement now. I mean, right. uh, historically, there's been a really slowdown uh, in the market in terms of commodities. But over the past month or so, and currently, we're seeing uh, an improvement, maybe in iron ore uh, and manganese. Uh, so I think there's, a, there's, there's hope that you know, the market is starting to pick up uh, as far as that. And, and we are really making sure that we gear ourselves uh, towards that by applying the cutting edge technologies that will improve the efficiencies. All right, uh, before I want to get to those technologies, mm -hmm. but I just also want to speak about the potential risks to this outlook. Mm -hmm. Right now, we've got a lot of noise coming out of Washington there in the, the US about uh, you know trade protectionism. And I just want to know from you, is this a barrier to more improvements in your industry should we have something happen like a trade war? I, I think from my side, uh, I think it presents a, a, a big opportunity for Africa, as possibly you might know. You know, Africa intra-trade is very, very low. I mean, we the studies are showing that we are only 12% in terms of a trade amongst the African countries, whereas our counterparts like Europe and, and Asia, they are sitting at more than 80%. So I think to me, it's a call of action for the rest of the Arca African continent to say, what can we do from the political space, you know, from, from the strategic space, and also even technological advancements on the point of view of real solution to make sure that we can improve the you know, the, the intra-trade between the Africa. Afri I think it's about time that we really focus on, 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 on doing that and improving that. Um, so as to be able to, to cushion us from, from, uh, from uh, externalities such as limitation in trade with the other countries, For continents. Sure. Sure. Across the world. So I take it you were quite pleased at that announcement yesterday in Kigali of, uh, you know, African countries moving a step closer to actually having an integrated free trade area in which to operate. Definitely. I mean, the, there's a number of organizations that are doing a good job, including uh, 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 the, the one that you just mentioned. I mean, SEDEC, there's NEPAT, there's South African Railway Association. Uh, they are doing a very good job of making sure that we, 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 we they, they provide a platform to promote intra-trade between the African countries. But now, from the Railway Heavy Haul Association point of view, how do we ensure that we provide the, 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 the railway solution that will ensure that uh, we implement the best practice, which will end up reducing the, the capital cost required for the projects that, that for example, about interconnectivity between the, the, the countries, or even upgrading of the existing network in Africa. So application of the cutting edge technologies um, from the history or 35 year history of the International Heavy Haul Association, I think there's a case for that. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so, so I think it's about time uh, as a technical group or within the rest of Africa 
to get ourselves organized because our principals, our politicians are doing a very good job of providing a conducive environment. But how do you make sure that the solutions are best practice? You know, Brian, we're about to get into a conversation about infrastructure and yes. the backlog that exists here on the continent. And I'd like to find out from you and your association, particularly as you're pro-Africa uh, trade or increasing Africa trade, mm -hmm. I mean, how do you plan on using some of those technologies perhaps to solve the infrastructure crisis that we have on the continent? Yes, there's a, as I've said, there's been a solid uh, history of uh, the, the organization IAJ of successes, I mean, in technological advancements. An example, I mean, in Transnet, uh, the, we, run, we have the longest production train in the world, uh, almost four kilometers, the train, mm -hmm. um, which, came, which we arrive at that through deployment of technologies. I mean, Australia is running heavy trains at more than 40 times the XL. So there's a, there's a case for application of those principles mm -hmm. within the railway heavy oil, spa uh, heavy oil space. There's a missing gap. Mm -hmm. so, so what we are uh, going to be focusing as an international heavy oil association, we want to, to revive the technical chapter Mm -hmm. um, of, 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 of within the railways. So that we'll be doing, for example, by 3rd of, of September this year, we'll be inviting all the railway technical experts, this I mean a chief engineer, a technical director, the operation executive, to a technical forum, um, which will be held here in South Africa, where we will be sharing to them the best practice uh, 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 from, from the heavy haul uh, space, and also, most importantly, to brainstorm as a technical team in terms of what do we need to do to get, our, get ourselves organized? I mean, politically, we are so, I think we're getting organized as an African continent, but how do we ensure that from the technical space, which is the team that is going to execute all of these solutions, we make sure that we get organized, we share best practice, and agree on the way forward in terms of how we're going to make uh, the technical chapter within Africa alive and, and, and in the process of applying all these uh, uh, technologies. So that's what we're going to be looking at. And it's going to be a day before our annual heavy haul uh, conference, which is going to be from the 4th of September to the 6th of September this year. So that's one of the initiatives that we are embarking well, on. Well, we'll look forward to that conversation then. Thank you'll you. tell us about the yeah, outcomes so of much. the conversations in uh, September. Of course, that was Global Chairman of the International Heavy Haul Association, Brian Monakali.